I'm Bill Hurst. I'm at Highland Hill Farm in Doylestown, Pennsylvania, and this video is about screening and buffering trees used to help conserve energy. There's a whole range of trees and shrubs that are used to help people conserve energy. What trees and shrubs can do in, in creating a windbreak and a barrier is cut the velocity of wind striking your house. If you can cut the velocity of the wind striking your house or disrupt it, you can save large amounts of energy in heating and cooling. Generally speaking, you have to know which direction the winter winds are going to be coming from and get the proper tree that, that will grow to the proper size height at the proper distance from the house or structure to afford you the best energy savings. And this video will show you some of the different types of trees and shrubs that we sell for that purpose. We're located in Fountainville in Doylestown, Pennsylvania, and we do deliver and install into the East Coast areas, and we will make recommendations for you as to which trees to select for your property. So what I'm going to do in this video is just give you a rough rundown of some of the different types of trees and shrubs that are available, and their, their approximate size and growth rates. And you'll have to, you know, just uh, try and get a hold of us at 215-651-8329 for further help. Or see us online at seedlingsrus.com. These are Norway spruces, another fast-growing tree. Grows about two feet a year. And we do deliver and plant all our trees and shrubs. And as you can see, we also have very large and small. And we have a... F These are emerald green arborvitas a tree that will grow to about 10 to 15 feet used in smaller properties, smaller lots and for a screen or buffer these would be planted three feet apart they grow about six to eight inches these are Japanese cryptomerias they're a fast growing tree also deer resistant and these trees can be planted eight feet apart they'll grow upwards to three feet a year and reach the height of 40 to 60 feet they can also tolerate a little bit wetter soil. This is Canadian hemlock and this is white pine. Two more fast growing selections that grow very fast. The hemlock is not quite as hardy and durable anymore because of the woolly adelgid but yet is a good choice if you can manage them. And the white pine can grow upwards to three feet a year. A little open and wispy with a nice blue color. In the fall, it'll suffer from fall needle loss, which some people don't like, but it's part of the process of the growing of the tree. You can see this tree here, it's in, the, it's in September, and it's already start, starting to show some fall needle loss. Typical and normal occurrence. These are western red cedars called Zabrina, another fast-growing cultivar. Not quite as easy to transplant and harder to find than the green giant and the Leland cypress, but yet makes a very nice screen and buffer fast-growing and deer-resistant. These are fast-growing green giant arborvitas. They grow very tall, very fast. They can grow upwards to three feet a year. You would plant them about six feet apart. And we sell them from 12 inches up to 18 to 19 foot tall. And we can deliver and install. These are Leland cypress, another fast-growing tree six to eight feet apart in rows. These also grow about three feet a year. They're not quite as sturdy and hardy as the green giant, but yet give a real nice open, airy look, but yet still will cut down on your wind velocity and form a very thick, full hedge for you or screen. And This video is about making money on your deer hunting property. On a deer hunting property, you can actually make more money by growing trees than almost any other thing you can do on your property. You can plant a bunch of trees on a property to enhance your wildlife, which also enables you to have a product to sell. For example, these river birches in here, we've been selling some of these for as much as five to six hundred dollars a clump. 
these big clumps. We have big tree tree diggers come in and they, they buy buy these from us and they take these out for, for ornamental landscaping and we get 500 bucks per clump. Now as you can see we have quite a few of them down through there and then off in the distance you can see we have about 500 of them in that clump. So if you can do the math you can get about a thousand of these on an acre and you could possibly get 50, 100, up to maybe $500 a tree in upwards to five to ten years. So an acre of ground can produce a lot of money. The other advantage to these trees are that it creates a great buffer, a great cover for deer. And as you can see, the deer don't bother these trees much. They will occasionally rub them, but it's going to be difficult for the deer to kill them. Here's, here's a deer rub here on the tree, but it didn't kill the tree. Actually went up quite a ways. And there's many other examples of deer rubs here, but deer damage on a multi-stem shrub tree like this is minimal. You won't have the deer problem here. And you won't have the mow problem. You can see we let the weeds grow, and it's great for the deer cover. Another great tree for this kind of application where you, know, you want to plant trees that the deer won't bother very much is the copper beech. The copper beech is a very slow growing tree so on a property that you're going to have for a long period of time you plant a slow long term tree that will yield tremendous value. A four inch caliper copper beech may be worth upwards to five hundred to a thousand dollars and you could probably get four or five hundred of them on an acre if you do the math you'll see it's a very lucrative proposition turning your idle acres into a productive area where not only it attracts deer but can generate high dollar value one four inch caliper copper beech tree dug out will yield you more than a twenty four inch white oak just you can do the math. It's in, in, in a white oak, to get 24 inches, you'd probably have to grow it for 75 years. Whereas you could get a 4 inch caliper copper beech in probably 12 to 14 years. So the yields are there. After you plant these trees, minimal care because these trees are deer resistant. What we do at Highland Hill Farm is we help you select trees that are deer resistant and great for cover for deer and that makes great cover and less management and worry about having to mow and keep up the cover area. You want to be able to plant your cover area and forget it. And we, we help you at Highland Hill Farm select those types of trees that you can plant and forget and then come back someday and harvest for large dollars. Now remember, when you're growing trees for profit, that means the trees can be written off on your income tax as a cost. And then all your costs going into you know, maintaining these trees, coming out and monitoring them and whatever, coming to visit them, is a tax deduction. So you get tax deductions for it as well. There's also many government programs where you plant trees for long-term conservation projects where the government pays you to plant the tree and pays you to keep the tree growing. I'm not kidding you. This is like our government at work. Obama administration is really making it easy for you to make money. They want you to succeed, and we have to take them up on their word. You know, they, they, want, they want these government programs, and by golly, farmers need welfare too. So give us a call at 215-651-8329 for, for turning your idle hunting acres into profitable acres and deer cover at the same time kill two birds with one stone. Make money and have a great time deer hunting. Thank you.